thousands of times. I don't trust FBI snitches who helped set up his own people and help create race riots and who was even is allowed to be anti-Semitic because he works for the I mean it's sick. It's like it's like George Soros is a famous Nazi collaborator and should be in a prison in in in, in Hungary or Romania where he operated, and instead, his operations claim I'm anti-Semitic. I mean, I'm sick of it. I was as involved in the Boston bombing as the man in the moon, MSNBC, that same witch. Alex Wagner, whatever her name is, said that. I'm done. I wasn't involved in that bombing witch. I say you people, the people you work for, are suspects. And then you're like, oh my gosh, he thinks we're suspects. Hey, lady, it's even in the BBC. We forced it there that Al-Qaeda from Saudi Arabia launched the chemical attacks on Assad's people to blame it on him. You got caught. Cy Hirsch reported on it. People know about false flags now, lady. We'd have to be morons not to think Obama could be behind this when they're running around with Holder last week going, the Tea Party's about to attack. We're launching our task force this week. The terrorism is everywhere. We need the armored vehicles for the Tea Party. Oh, my God. Look, the Tea Party, Alex Jones, just killed two cops the next week. Two plus two equals four. Now, maybe these were unhinged, devil-worshipping pibs that were also mad at the government and anti-establishment. There is an allure to rebellion. And sometimes it attracts bad people. Any revolution does. But I am a counter-revolutionary, and I stand for what I have said. I have said over and over and over again, not because I'm scared of violence breaking out and getting blamed, I'm committed to this, but because violence is not the course we want to take, because we've got a very good chance at fixing this peacefully because of checks and balances laid down by our forebears and fought for by our more recent ancestors and those living, and that we can maybe turn all of this around. They want a revolution. They're geared up to conquer us paramilitarily. They're trying to get the cops compartmentalized to follow this false script. I'm blocking the script. I'm hacking the script and saying, uh, police, no veterans attack police. They're saying there's going to be a war with veterans? I thought that Homeland Security was for Al-Qaeda. Do you really just want mission creep? Do you really want to roll out a new war? At bigger than the war on drugs against the patriot movement in an attempt to intimidate the liberty movement to shutting up and doing what you want politically, that's not going to fly. That dog's not going to hunt. You don't want to be part of this. Please send a message you don't want to be marched up against the American people as the part of the Redcoats in 1776 Part 2. And by the way, the Redcoats were Thomas Jefferson compared to the Democrats. The British Redcoats were altruistic Renaissance angel cakes compared to the elite we've got running this country. The Redcoat government would look good compared to this, and George Washington went around signing death orders on people to kill because they were tyrants. If you really want to get down to brass tacks, folks, George Washington ordered people to go into restaurants and bars and kill redcoat officers. But that's not what's happened. Those are redcoats who knew what they were doing in an open war against the people. We haven't gotten there yet. We don't want that civil war to start, ladies and gentlemen. By the foreign occupiers, we want to short circuit it and we want to stop it. We do not want it. So I'm proud. And I'm honored to be in the position I'm in. And I'm willing to take whatever happens to me in the process of them trying to demonize this broadcast. But I will say this. We're going to give the phone number out and come back with your calls on this subject. InfoWars more than ever needs your support. Spread the word about the broadcast. Sponsor our local AM and FM affiliates. The broadcast is exploding. The system's scared of that. Buy the products at InfoWarsStore.com. They're the best products out there across the board from preparedness to high-quality supplements. And pray for us.
not so that we even continue for ourselves, but that we continue to savage the enemy. Because make no mistake, folks, we're having incredible victories right now. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER Silver 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. A sudden change in the wind. The day grows dark as ominous clouds move in and lightning begins to carve arcs in the sky. And you realize you are not prepared. I am telling you to yes, take, take cover. The number of intense storms is increasing exponentially in the U.S. Tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, and droughts are happening with greater magnitude and frequency. If you are choosing to rely on the government to save you... And no one's coming to help them. You could be dead wrong. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to MyPatriotSupply.com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48. Visit us online or call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one- to four-year supply of pure soaps or our one- to two-month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. playing a lot of these just because there's so many, but they're posting them up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Chris Matthews, uh, yeah, CIA guy, CIA on record. Anderson Cooper does blue screen stuff when he's not even at Sandy Hook. Um, I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, CNN got caught. This is famous. You can, it's on YouTube. In the first Gulf War, being in Atlanta on a blue screen, saying that they were in Riyadh being nerve-gassed. I Scott attack, hopping around in front of a blue screen. 
didn't know their feed was going out live with the blue screen off. I mean, right there, I'm just, they've, they've been caught lying so much. If you have somebody in business that you've worked with, you catch lying to you once, you really lose confidence in them, it kind of freaks you out. Then you catch them again, again, again. Three, four times, you'll never associate with them again. But in modern America, people just love to be suckered over and over again. I mean, I don't believe anything Hillary Clinton says. I don't believe anything Obama says. I don't believe anything John Boehner says. I'm done with the blue blood Republicans and the Democrats. And the whole establishment is coming out of the Tea Party. Good. We don't need to get freaked out that we're being lectured by the White House run CNN, MSNBC. Good. It means we're having an effect. Good. You're blaming me for tragedies. Good. My job is to expose you. I expect you to come after me. Most of you people work for the system because you cozy up to them as cowards. And you're scared of the new world order and you know how evil it is. So you just decide to go along with it. I've run into a lot of top people. Host of ABC Nightly News, one of the hosts. I'll just leave it at that. Um, MSNBC, CNN people who've privately at events and things said, no, we know a lot of what you're saying is true, you know, but uh, the Republicans are bad too. I mean, what do you want us to do, vote for them? I mean, you know, it's the same thing with the police. We don't need to be each other's enemies, ladies and gentlemen. Most of the people that work for the system are just compartmentalized and operate under peer pressure. We have a clip coming up where CNN says the liberty movement is more threatening than Al-Qaeda. That's up on Infowars.com. This is the full conversion of homeland security on the American people. And I know I keep saying that because it's happening. Obama really is legalizing illegals outside of law and saying, if you're poor and sick, we'll pay for you. And we've got a driver's license. Come here, come to California and vote to take the guns. They've got a plan to turn Texas blue Battlefield, Texas, where they, they've been caught on video. We've played the clips. The Democratic Party saying, we're going to take over. We're going to have the illegals vote. We're going to take the guns, everything. All we need is 5 million illegals to come here. They get three or four, they say five. That's more than they need. They get about 3 million illegal voters who almost all pull the lever for Democrats. It's over, folks. They will take our guns, and they will line up the armored vehicles in a phalanx and come. Just like that state judge, county judge, you know, head of the county, it's like the mayor. What was it Lubbock? That was Lubbock. It was on. Remember last year he got in all that trouble, but he didn't get in trouble. He got elected in a landslide, but the media said he was in trouble. He came out and he said, listen, they're going to stage stuff. I don't know what. When Obama gets reelected, he's not going to leave office by the end. This is what he said, not me. And when they come to try to confiscate the guns, I'm not going to be part of it. And when they show up with those armored vehicles, I'm going to need more deputies. And we're going to need to go ahead and get some of those federal armored vehicles because I'm not going to turn the guns in and we're not going to have them in this county. And I thought, man, that guy's even more tough than I am. I mean, that. Re but he's, re he's a re reality-based guy. He's got the police chief sitting right next to him gravely. There it is. Texas judge warns Obama re-election lead to civil war because it's true, folks. Why do you think that county judge said that over a major city? I mean, that's a big city. Yeah, Lubbock. Why do you think he said that? Judge Tom Head. Because, folks, the feds are coming to all the cities and saying, get ready for this to find out who's going to go along with it. That's one thing waking up the police and military is they're being prepared for this. They're in the meetings. They're battle training. They're battle training to take the guns, folks. A civil war will break out. Do you understand? And they're going to need a trigger. So I said, look for blowing up police stations, shooting police in restaurants, shooting them in their cars, blaming it on us. But they've been hyping it so much, mentally ill people may get it in their head and go do it. So I'm saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it every day. And then somebody does it, and I'm being blamed. Man, what does that tell you? They're getting ready to drop the hammer. We've been trying to stop it forever. When are they going to drop the hammer, Alex? When are they going to drop the hammer, Alex? When are they going to drop the hammer, Alex? They've been dropping the hammer for a long time. Now they're getting ready to drop the big hammer. I'm going to give the number out. Take your call straight ahead. We're on the mark.